Hello, fourth grade, and welcome to topic 13. And we're going to start with 13-1. In this topic, we're going to talk about different units of measurement. Our first lesson is going to focus on equivalence with customary units of length. So we're looking at um, units that show an equivalent amount, and we're using the customary system. So we're using inches, feet, yards, and miles. Let's go ahead and watch our short lesson video and then jump into our notes and our guided practice. How can you convert from one unit of length to another? Let's find out. Maggie has a tree swing. How many inches long is each rope from the bottom of the branch to the swing? You can convert feet to inches using multiplication. The table shows equivalent amounts for some customary units of length. What information do you need from the table to solve this problem? Select your answer. Okay, so for here, we need to take a look. So we're looking at 10 feet and two and a quarter feet. So we want to convert from feet to inches. So we need to look at how many inches are going to be in one foot. The information you need is one foot equals 12 inches. What is the hidden question that must be answered to solve this problem? How can you solve the hidden question? The hidden question is, what is the length of the rope in feet? You can solve this hidden question by subtracting 10 minus 2 and 1 fourth. Step 1. Find the length of the rope in feet. R equals 10 minus 2 and 1 fourth. To subtract, rewrite 10 as 9 and 4 fourths minus 2 and 1 fourth equals seven and three-fourths. Each rope is seven and three-fourths feet long. Step two, convert the length of the rope to inches. There are 12 inches in a foot. What is the relationship between the numbers in the two columns of the table? Select a number of feet to see the conversion to inches. Now here, 1 times one... 12 equals 12. There we are know... 12 inches in one foot. We know that we are converting from feet to inches by multiplying by 12. So when we're going from a big unit to a smaller unit, we're going to multiply because we're going to be making it into smaller size pieces. Now, if we have two feet, 2 times 12 is going to give us 24. 3 times 12 is going to give us 36. So if we get to 7 feet... 7 times 12 equals 84. There are 84 inches in 7 feet. The numbers in the right column are always 12 times the numbers in the left column. To convert 7 and 3 fourth feet to inches, First find 7 times 12. 7 times 12 equals 84 inches. Then find 3 fourths times 12. 3 fourths times 12 equals 3 times 12 over 4, which equals 36 fourths, or 9 inches. Then add 84 plus 9 equals 93. So, 7 and 3 fourths times 12 equals 93. Each rope is 93 inches long. Now you know how to convert from one unit of length to another. Okay, now before we move on, I want to go back and take a look at the equations that were used here. So, the way that they did this was they took the feet first. So we know it was seven and three fourths was the difference. So they first they multiplied the whole number. Seven times 12 
gave us the 84, and then they did the 3 fourths times 12. Now, remember, when you're multiplying a whole number times a fraction, it's telling you that you need 12 of your 3 fourths size pieces. So three. this is going to be your groups. So you're counting, you're skip counting in groups of 3 fourths 12 times. So you're multiplying just your numerator times your whole number, 3 times 12, which gives you 36. 36 over 4. So now, since our numerator is larger than our denominator, that means we're working with an improper fraction. So we need to change it to either a whole number or a mixed number by dividing. Or you can think of it as multiplication. How many groups of 4 are in 36? Or 36 divided by 4 equals what? So that gave us the 9 inches. So now they did the second part of the multiplication. So first they multiplied the fraction, the whole number part. And then they multiplied the fraction part. And then now that they have those two partial products, they're going to add them together to find what the whole product is. So the 84 from the 7 times 12 plus the 9 from the 3 fourths times 12 gave them the 93 inches. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our notes here and our guided practice. OK. Now, when we're talking about equivalence with customary units, we're talking about how do we move from one unit to another to show the same length. So one foot is equal to 12 inches. One yard is three feet, and three feet is 36 inches. One mile is 1,760 yards, which is the same as 5,280 feet. So you're going to use inches to measure small or short lengths like pencils or books or a water bottle or the length of a key. Uh, we use feet to measure medium sized things. So your height, the height of a person or the length of your bed or how long your table is or your chair, how tall your chair is off of the floor or how tall the door is to your bedroom. Yards measure bigger or longer lengths such as a basketball court or the length of a classroom. Uh, the length of a football field, how tall a building is, those are things you can use yards for. Now, miles are used for much longer distances. So if you're driving from one city to another or you're taking a flight from one country to another, we're going to measure that in miles. If you're checking the distance from your house to a store that's kind of far away, you're going to measure that with miles. Let's take a look at our first example. It says Jeremy jogged 75 yards from his house to school. How many feet did he jog? So we know that one yard is equal to three feet. So 75 yards is going to be 75 times three is going to give me F, the number of feet. So 75 times three is going to give me 225. I did the math right there for you guys. So Jeremy jogged 225 feet from home to school. So remember, when you're moving from a big unit or a larger unit to a smaller unit, so from yards to feet, yards are bigger than feet, you're going to multiply. Our next example says, Mark moved forward five sixth yard when doing a flip. Daisy moved three and one sixth feet. How much more did Daisy move than Mark? So here we're using different units. We have yards for Mark and we have feet for Daisy. Now I know that one yard is equal to three feet. So in order to solve, I need to convert one of them so that I'm using the same units. I have to be measuring using the same units. So I'm going to change my yards into feet. So five sixths times three, remember we're only multiplying the whole number times the numerator. So five times three over six, five times three is 15 over six. And since that is an improper fraction, I need to convert it into a mixed number. So how many groups of six are in 15? I know six goes into 15 two times. So six times two is 12. And that leaves me with the three extra remaining. So two whole and three sixths feet is how far Mark flipped or how far he moved from his flip. So two and three sixths, I'm going to subtract that from our three and one sixth, which is how much Daisy moved. So I need to do three and one sixth minus two and three sixths. Now I can't do that because I can't do 1 6 minus 3 6. I just don't have enough pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decompose or break apart one of my whole. So I'm going to make it 2 and 6 6 and 1 6, which makes 2 and 7 6. Now I can subtract the 2 and 3 6 from that number. So 2 minus 2, the whole number goes away. 7 6 minus 3 6 equals 4 6. 
So we know that Daisy moved four, six feet farther than Mark did. So here we regrouped, we decomposed, we borrowed so that we could do our operation. For our next one, we are going to do a couple examples. One of them is to convert. So it says convert 28 yards into feet. Now I know one yard is three feet. And since I'm moving from a big unit to a smaller unit, I'm going to multiply. So 28 times three gave me 84. So 28 yards is equal to 84 feet. For our next example, which one is greater three miles or 5,000 yards? Well, we know one mile is 1,760 yards. So to find three miles, we're going to multiply 1,760 times three, which gives us 5,280 yards. So 5,280 is greater than 5,000. So three miles is greater than 5,000 yards. For our guided practice, it says, does it, make, does it take more inches or feet to equal a given length? Explain. So when you're measuring the length of something, like the length of your table or your desk at school, you're going to measure, if you're measuring with inches, you're going to have a much bigger number when you're using inches as your unit than if you're using feet as your unit, because one foot is a group of 12 inches. So the smaller your unit is, the more of it that you need to show the same length. The bigger your unit is, the fewer of it that you need to show the same length. For number two, which is a greater distance, nine yards or nine miles? Well, we know right away that nine miles is a greater distance because miles are a much bigger unit of measurement than yards. For number three, we're doing some conversions for three and four. So two miles equals how many yards? Well, I know one mile is 1,760 yards. So to make two miles, I need two groups of that which gave me 3,520. So two miles is equal to 3,520 yards. For number four, two thirds of a yard is equal to how many feet? Well, I know one yard is three feet. So if I have two thirds of a yard, I have two feet. So two thirds times three, two times three is six over three. We need to rewrite this as a mixed number or a whole number because right now it's an improper fraction. How many groups of three go into six or six divided by three equals what? And that equals two whole. That takes us to the end of this lesson. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a wonderful day, fourth grade. Take care. Bye-bye.